everybody it is January 20th and we are now under a new president <laughs> um, okay so I wanted to encourage you because of that and uh, we know where this is going uh, it's been going in the direction anyway of total control and you know the mark of the you know what so um, got to watch what you say these days on YouTube but so I wanted to encourage you um, in this because basically um, the fact of the matter is that there was many people who were saying that Trump would come back for four years and those were the same people for the most part not everyone but for the most part who did not believe the rapture was anytime soon and so as an encouragement I would like to just point out that the ones who have believed that the rapture was very soon are for the most part the same people who did not see Trump coming back for four years and making everything better. Um, so, mind you, the, the whole agenda has been going on since last year. Okay? Let's point that out. No matter who's uh, the leader, the, this thing's been going on for since uh, March 11th, to be specific. So I wanted to uh, remind you that as a confirmation, not to say these people are wrong, these are right, or it's not about that or people, it's about, let's look at what God is confirming. Okay, because it is interesting that the people who have been saying the rapture is very soon are the same ones who do not believe that Trump's coming back to give us four more years. And so that's actually should come as a consolation, uh, um, comfort um, to you that confirmation that the Lord, he is coming back very soon. And this agenda they have is going to take America down. Tomorrow is 2121. No accident, no coincidence of the dream 210 America. When you know what their plans are and they're not for good, but they are for evil. And it will all culminate in the mark of the you know what beast and um in the right hand or forehead when it comes to the right hand or forehead, take this in the right hand or forehead so that you can prove you got the shot. Um, Revelation 13 and 14. Read it if you need confirmation on that. It's astounding what we are seeing in front of us. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so get ready to go. Keep your eyes on the Lord Jesus. Uh, he's coming. We're not appointed to wrath. And if you don't think the mark of the you-know-what beast is part of the wrath of God, think again. Because you cannot get saved if you take it. And uh, that is just as bad as a nuclear bomb. So, um, <clears throat> come to Christ if you haven't. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart God, raise him from the dead, you shall be saved. Romans 10, 9 and 10. Believe it in your heart means it's a heart thing. It's a heart thing. Okay? It's not just I believe the car is red. But I believe in my heart. I know in my heart that Jesus is the Son of God. He is God. And He died and rose from the dead. And shed His blood for my sins. And I admit I'm a sinner in need of a Savior. This is how you get saved. God is great. God is good. God loves you, and he's coming back soon. So be encouraged, stay strong, keep looking at, at the truth. Jesus said, I am the truth. He said, no man comes to the Father except through me. He is the only way, truth, and the life. And uh, so keep your eyes on what he's doing, not on what the world is doing. The Bible says to think on things above, not below, because that's where our strength is from. Our strength is from the joy of the Lord, the presence of the Lord. Keep your mind in the Word of God. So I will uh, talk to you guys soon. And uh, keep.
keep looking up because he's coming back. He's not surprised. He knows what time it is. God bless.